don't know if many people can do that. You can also edit your videos on the phone itself as well. So you can do everything on the phone. You can just record voice to the voice memo. And that one has gotten better. It's actually a lot better than it is in that picture now. So uh, you can do this with BlackBerry too. You can do this with Android. So only so some of the smartphones themselves have these tools embedded. Even the ones that don't use apps at all, they have a recording device. That's how I mostly record with my adult students is through the voice memo app because I think it's it's pretty good. And then you can do different types of podcasts, and I list a bunch on the wiki. If you have access to apps, these also work on the iPad, I believe. I recommend some of these because this one is, yes, you can do this with an iPod touch as well. That's a very good, that's a very good uh, point there, is you can do this with an iPod, with some iPod touch as well. So these are some of the free apps that you can use that I have mind-blowing and story wrote. And the reason why I have these first are because they're very, very, they work offline as well. So you don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi to use these. I'm going to show you Story Rogue really quick. It's create a story and three simple steps. Oh, okay. So let me see. Maybe you can see this a little bit better now. Okay, so that's what the app looks like. You simply press create a story, and then you have these options. You have camera row, photo library, story row share, and take a picture. So the kids can go do a scavenger hunt, make a video outside in pairs or groups. They can take pictures. It's a great way to study vocabulary as well. Or they can go to their camera roll and upload pictures. So I'm going to upload one picture. I bet you can't guess the picture. And you can upload as many as you want. <laughs> and then simply, then you'll be, after you do this, you'll have options on the bottom where you can add, you can record your story. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to record my story. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to create the video. And then that's all it takes. It's ready already, the video. So that was very, very simple, quick, easy to do. And let me go ahead and show you that video. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> and there you go. See, you can do a series of pictures, more than one picture at a time. So. <laughs> I've recorded many of these. I do Photo Babble as well. Photo Babble and uh, Story Robe work sort of the same way, except with Photo Babble, I find that it takes a little bit longer to process, and you have to be connected online. Audio Boo is fantastic. The only reason it's listed towards the bottom is because Audio Boo, you have to be online. But you can email, you can share with a bunch of uh, people online and things like that. Let me show you really quick two other ones that I didn't show, but that are on the wiki with example. And these are Voxapop and Bukuru. Bukuru has some recent changes. It's still very, very, very easy to do. So Bukuru is wonderful because the students can automatically record on Bukuru. You don't have to uh, go anywhere to do it. It's really simple and it's really fast, and then they email, they email the voice to you, voice recording to you. Octopot is a community that you can use. Uh, I really encourage my students to get on the community. Jason Renshaw has done a lot of fantastic work with Octopot. Uh, so I'll share with those really quick. You'll see my messy desktop. Sorry about that. <laughs> so this is this is Vukuru. You can embed this on any website. Click to record. I say hello everyone. How are you doing? 
and then you can listen and that's it. It's very, very easy. They can record again and again and then you can get messages. Let me show you Vox Epox quickly. And there's also video tutorials in all of these. This is the Vox Epox group that I recommend. And these are free tools. So Here I started a discussion, what are tools new and exciting to use. If you're students, they do have to register. That's the reason why a lot of people like Luca Luke, you don't register at all. Um, you can now, I believe, to save some of the recordings, but I think they might have even taken that off. And then they have different types of groups. Some of these groups have over 100 English language learners that talk to each other. So I think it's a really great opportunity for the students to interact in the outside and help each other. There's also English, and uh, Tara Benwell does her English club, My English Club, and that also has a great community that speaks to each other online as well. So now I want to know uh, some of your great ideas. And let me go back to the presentation. Uh, before we wrap up, if you have any questions or if you want to share some of the wonderful audio tools or ideas of lessons, can you use this source? Oh, that's a great one. Oh, and I, I have to say that I love your stuff with photo babble, but yes, they are great for debates and stuff like that. Uh, yes, it's audio boo. Yes, and that's, that's another great thing. There's so many. There's also some podcasts that they have on the wiki as well. It's, it's difficult to cover them all because there's so many great tools out there. But the, those were some of my favorites. So hopefully that will help you to see some of the ones and then just go through them. Um, so what lessons can you think of? Can anybody give me any examples of things that they do with their students? That includes audio. Okay. Or a gap fill. Oh, okay, that's great. Yes, yeah, great for interviews. That's the one great thing about Audio Boot is that it's really successful, so you can pretty much just depend on it for staying for a long time. Some of the tools like Boo. Uh, they're a little, Bookaroo is a little unstable, but Voxapop and Audioboo seem like they will be for a really long time. Oh, that's, that's a really great idea. You voice that to give your class a chance to rehearse and individual talk at home. Did anyone want to get on the microphone and share their ideas aloud? <laughs> Oh, so I'm going to call somebody. <laughs> okay, that's a great idea. I'm not familiar with SoundCloud. Tyson, can you, are you willing to get the mic and describe this for us? All you do is go to the bottom and click talk. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes, I do. I, I, I do see that a lot. Hello? Can you hear me? Um, I use SoundCloud. You, you upload an MP3 and then Students can go to it, and as they're listening at any point on the on the audio file, they can just click comment, and then their comment will appear at that specific spot in the MP3. So, I mean, there's a lot of ways that you can use that for for various I don't know for various activities, or or if someone was going to yes, it's free. 
uh, if someone was going to, you know, do a speech or something like that, you could even have them comment at different points. So uh, SoundCloud's a, a cute, a cute tool, really. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you so much for sharing that. I haven't heard of that one at all, so thanks a lot. <laughs> Anybody else have any questions or anything they want to share? I'll have to add that one to the wiki. That one sounds really useful. It even be used for dictation. <laughs> Okay, well, have a happy holiday. Thank you all so much for attending again. And once again, if you have any questions that you think of later or you have problems with any of these tools, you're welcome to email me. I will Skype with you, share with you a screen tutorial or something to help you with these tools. So, and you can go to the wiki to find even more examples <laughs> and get ideas. Thank you so much for attending.